What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's currently like 10 o'clock and I haven't filmed anything today so I'm just going to do a quick little story time of um, a trip that I went on with the Medlocks last year. But basically it started out with like uh, maybe a two hour drive to some river and then once we got there we waited for like um, the Medlocks friends to get there because they were going to. <clears throat> and then once they got there, we were like, um, I mean, I had met them, so, I mean, they, they were all really nice. But then when we, like, finally got all our stuff in the tents and stuff, uh, we played hide and seek, and that's really, like, what we did for the entire night. We got there kind of later in the day, though, so, I mean, we didn't have a lot of time, but we probably just, like, I know we played hide and seek for at least an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. But then we went to sleep on the cots, which I'd never slept in a tent before because, like, I mean, I'd tried it before, but I never, like, really could do it. But then we d decided that we were going to go to a bed because we had a long day the next day. We were going on a four-hour float trip the next day, so that's why we had to go to bed. And then um, I remember it was so hard to sleep because there were so many bugs in the tent. And uh, I'll show you a picture right now of what those what those bugs were like, and they they were like crazy too. I remember there was this like one cricket that was up by my head, and it, it like creeped me out because all night long all I heard was like the, just the noise of it. But I eventually fell asleep, and I remember I woke up a lot, but it didn't matter because we were gonna be waking up pretty early. Then we ate breakfast, and then we took a bus about 10 minutes down to a river, and we got, I was in a kayak with one of the Medlock's friends, and then the others were in like rafts and stuff, which I'll show you a picture of that right here. And then I remember like right as we got on the water, like me and the other person that was in the kayak we went like really fast and so we were way ahead of everyone else so we pulled off onto like this little beach area and we were there for like at least 20 minutes waiting for the other people and then um no maybe not 20 minutes like 10 minutes and then eventually they came i feel like uh somebody even dropped their oar in the water but they like the rafts got all stuck and stuff and they or instantly they were gritting like the little inner tube things but then we were going for a little while longer and then we stopped to eat lunch somewhere and I remember after we ate uh, we were like catching minnows just by sitting in the boat and like putting our hands in the water like this and they would swim up and we could just catch them and we put them in a bottle and we caught like quite a few uh, probably 20 then we let those go and we were off. I remember we would have like races and stuff with the other people in the other kayak or canoe. I think it was a canoe, not a kayak. And then there was one point, I have. I actually have a video of this where we would like, uh, we pulled off to the side and what we would do is we would take the life jackets and we would just hold on to them and we would float like 50 feet down the river and then it was really fun to try to like go against the current to get back and then you could just go all the way back again and you had to walk back and it was really fun. Okay. Hi, mommy. I'm not going So eventually, we ended up not really using the inner tubes, and we just like had those in the big rafts. So they were like four person rafts, so you couldn't really like get a bunch of people in them. So what you had to do was, uh, or, so you, you could have five people in it, but then one person wasn't paddling, and yeah. But then I remember um, they decided, well, we have this extra inner tube and we have an extra person, because I'd been in the canoe the whole time, so I was going to get in the raft with the medlocks. But then I was like, I'll just sit on an inner tube and hold on to the back of the raft. That's what I was doing. Then we got to Rapids, and it was like, 
I mean, it wasn't, t it wasn't like super rapid, but I remember I was holding on and then, uh, I got stuck on like this big mud pile that had sticks and stuff in it. So I was holding on, hoping that my raft would like slide out from the mud thing, but it didn't. And I just ended up getting dragged along the top of the water. And I remember I lost my hat, but I was able to find it. And then the raft was still stuck there. So I had to go back and try to get it. But then we eventually got it. I remember some of the other I remember some of the other families that we went with. They had like water guns and stuff. So we would have like some wars and stuff when we were going on the river. That was honestly a really fun trip. So that, that was pretty much it for the float trip. But um be looking forward to late April because we're gonna be going to uh somewhere and we're gonna be doing something with the I'm gonna be with the Medlocks. It's going to be really exciting. Hopefully, it all works out and I end up doing what I really want to do. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today's video. Sorry it's a shorter one. I didn't really film much today. Tomorrow's vlog, it might not even be a vlog. I think I'm going to do a fishing video. And hopefully, I'm going to be able to catch trout. That's what I'm going to be going for. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and I actually deleted my outro, so I kind of need to redo that soon. See you in the next one. Peace.